This video will be about customer management. Customer management helps you collect information about your customers. The information can be used to label orders, look up order history, and for marketing purposes. To get started, we'll need to log into the backend control panel. From here, click settings, and then you'll need to go to customer management. You'll need to enable this first. Once you click enable, you'll see a screen just like this. From here, we can set our settings. We can require the customer selection before entering the checkout. We can automatically start customer selector when starting a new order. We can enable waivers with the user signature. We can disable customer management from within the app. Now you can set up the information in which you want to store. So you can set up the label. You can have it include or not include or hide it. You can require it or make it optional. And you can set the order as which to display it. And then you can have it print on the kitchen receipt or the regular receipt or both. And then you can have it show up in the report, either yes or no. The labels you can have is the first name, the last name, the email, the phone number, the street address, the city, the state, the zip code, their birthday, company, and how did you hear about us. Once you set these settings up, go ahead and click Save Customer Settings. This is what it looks like on the front end. To get started, we'll need to start an order. Where you see where it says Customer, you'll need to tap that, and then you can either search for a customer or create a new customer. All the fields that you enabled in the back end are now listed here search for a customer, you just type in the customer's name and it'll run the search. Here we can view the history or we can edit the information that's in here or we can simply hit the green arrow and add it to the tab. And now the customer's information is here.